Welcome back. On the bench today, I have a quick one, or what should be a quick one. I got myself a new Raspberry Pi uh, 4 Model B 4 gig. Now, this is for an upcoming project. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this up to decode the GOES weather satellite and do an kind of a, a standalone receiver system. Now, the GOES weather sat. The images are quite quite detailed and quite heavy duty so that's why i wanted to go with the pi 4. so i thought well i'll take a flyer on this it's my own money i used for this this is from amazon the pi 4 is so damn expensive no matter what they, wherever you get it, it seems to be pricey so this is a complete kit let's have a look this episode made possible in part by pcb way check them out at the link below for all your custom printed circuit board needs they offer numerous services, different styles of PCBs, even assembly and parts supply. Make sure you check them out and tell them I sent you. Gooey in the box, probably standard pie fare. Uh, actually, no, um, no anti-static bag. That's kind of a surprise, actually, but so be it. Uh, lots of other videos out there covering the Pi 4. Uh, heavy, heavy duty little machine. Oh, I love that blue. That is so cool. The USB 3, um, oh, so many things. So, uh, this is not a specs of this. This is, this is this kit. So, next out of the box, got a power supply. I like this. Uh, I like this form factor. Skinny, not a great big monster wall wart. And bonus, but kind of unnecessary in this application, is power switch right built into it. Uh, this should be standard on all USB cables. Uh, this is just wonderful. I like, th I, I like that. Um, even, like, I leave my GoPro Hero 5 sessions plugged in, the USB-C as well. Um, I can just turn it off and then I'm not relying on the camera to regulate the charge voltage up down on the battery constant. I can just leave it off, which is, uh, uh, depending on the hardware, a lot smarter move. Okay, in here, I believe this is the itty bitty HDMI or USB cable. Yeah, HDMI to super tiny HDMI. Handy dandy. Well, we won't be using that because we're going to run this without a monitor. In here is the case. I'm hoping it's a nice case. Truthfully, when I when I picked this out, the way I made the choice was strictly by what the case looked like. So there's the mounting hardware. This is nice. I I like this. It's even got a like a tripod mount. Looks like three eighths coarse. Yeah, I think that is a tripod mount bushing. Very cool. So handy dandy. This feels really good. This is high quality plastic. I like that. That's not cheap at all. That's not junk. That feels really nice. That's cool. Way better than just a junk acrylic one. Another cable? Huh. I wonder if that was an oopsie. Because that's the same, right? Sure looks the same. Identical. Looks like I might have got a bonus. HDMI's on it, I guess it comes with two <laughs> HDMI cables. Handy dandy. There's the, the fan. Cool. Comes with a little screwdriver. Totally unnecessary. Heat sinks for the chips. Handy dandy if you're going to have a fan. You might as well have a heat sink. Uh, this is a, a little micro SD card reader. I could have done without that, but why not? Oh, interesting. I actually don't have one of those. USB there, and then type C on the other hand. So, yeah, I don't own one of those. Yeah, that's cool. Why not? And a 64 gig SanDisk Ultra. Uh, I, with how good this seems to be, I would imagine that's real and not a clone. And a little quick start guide. It's got, it's supposed to come with noobs preloaded, which I guess for some people that's nice. Why not? Uh, we're, we're going to just leave it as a uh, Raspbian in this case, and then we'll do everything uh, via SSH and this will be remote in my garage. So cool. Uh, quite a pricey little kit. Um, definitely not cheap, but 
anything Raspberry Pi is not cheap right now. Um, even the older ones haven't come down in price much. So uh, I've got all mine pretty much in the field except for one spare I have and it's going into the for the robot, the Mars Rover project, which is still alive and I'm still moving forward on it ever so slowly. So uh, I needed this one. So yeah, handy dandy, ready to go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.